The economy has really affected our family, you know, losing our house and our car. There has been a couple days where I haven't been able to eat food or anything. The recent economic meltdown means that now, more than ever, parents have to choose between feeding their children and paying for other needs. About half of the people served by Feeding America, our nation's largest hunger relief organization, say they have to choose between paying for food and for utilities or heat. 40% have to choose between paying for food and paying the rent or mortgage. Hardest hit are single parents who are now raising about 34% of all American children. Jennifer is a single mom and an army veteran. She works full time and earns a decent salary. And still, she struggles every day to feed her two growing girls. I'm a single working mom. I work 40 hours a week, sometimes more. I'm raising two girls, Ashley, who's eight, and Elizabeth, who's five, which is a big burden with daycare expenses and that with working all the time. I'm, like, hungry when it's bedtime, but I never ask because I always know we need food for the next day. Yeah, I'm hungry a lot of times. This year's been the most difficult year for us. I took the car in to find out that's $500. OK, how do I pay for that? And put food on the table. At the end of the month, what's left for food is between $50 to $100. I mean, it gets really tough. And you know, being a parent now myself, knowing the expectations and the dreams you have for your kids, knowing that you don't want them where you're at, Food insecurity is not knowing how long what you have in the cupboard is going to last, if you're going to have enough in the next paycheck to get the next two weeks worth until the next paycheck comes. There has been times where it's, here's a bag of popcorn that you guys too can split. Oh, we, we're still hungry. We ate dinner. We had popcorn for dinner, kids. When it comes to food, I take care of Beth. I'm more like a mother. At school, sometimes in the hall, she's like dragging herself because she's hungry. All right, girls, dinner's ready. I'm gonna be pretty. One thing I love is salad, but we never have enough money for it. I do worry about whether or not they are eating healthy enough. They probably should get more fruits and vegetables. Busy, busy day today. Get your coat. I think people don't realize how many people do struggle because it doesn't look like the typical place you would expect people to be struggling in. It took me a year to go to Missions for All Nations food pantry. I was already charging groceries to the credit card. In order to get out of this vicious cycle, there has to be something. Let's see if we can get to a better place. Okay, here's a form for you. If you could just fill out the front side. Just have to swallow your pride to walk through those doors to admit in some ways you have failed. Jennifer? I can't believe I'm here, that I'm in this situation. It feels sad because we don't get the food we want, but happy because we at least get some food. I work, I'm making decent money, but if it's not one thing, it's another. This could happen to anybody at any time because you never know. You have one thing on top of another, on top of another, till it just seems to spiral out of control and then you're in need. Free time's a lot of volunteering here and there for help and assistance because then I don't feel like I'm abusing it. Helping out not only helps the other people, but it also does help us with being able to take home those food packages when we need them. I do volunteer other places, too, to help make ends meet. You can, like, see all these different people who are in need. I feel sad for them, but I also feel happy that they can at least get some food, some comfort. As long as we have enough, I'm happy. That's all you really need. Baby. Recently, Jennifer got a raise at work of 50 cents an hour. That would seem like good news. 
But that put her into a higher income bracket, which caused her to lose government-subsidized child care. Jennifer's daycare bill jumped from $150 a month to over $1,000 a month, making it even harder to put food on the table. Still to come, we'll look at the physical and emotional effects hunger can have on children. How does this affect the students in the classroom? A hungry child looks like a sick child. And even if your child is not at risk of hunger, if the kid who sits next to him or her goes to bed hungry, everyone is affected. Food insecurity is a make or break problem for our society. Natalie Morales joins us with that story. And we'll show you how things can change because we can make a difference. Stay tuned. Child Hunger Ends Here, a special report, is sponsored by ConAgra Foods. Child hunger is not just in the big cities, it's even in places like Nebraska and Iowa. Every day, we're hearing more and more stories about how difficult it is for the people in communities just to put food on the table for their children. We said here we are, a major food company, and in our own backyard, kids are going to bed hungry. These are kids coming home from school and their refrigerators are empty, and that's just not right. The Hunger Free Heartland Initiative is an effort to solve hunger right in our own backyard. Here at Food Bank for the Heartland, we provide emergency food to 22,000 people each week. Without the help of Conagra Foods, we could not serve nearly 150,000 people each year. Here at Kellum Elementary, we have 91% of our kids who are struggling with food insecurity and poverty. We're working with ConAgra and the Hunger Free Heartland initiative to get our kids to participate more in breakfast. You're welcome, honey. I want to encourage everyone to make certain that they are doing what they can do in their own backyards. Today, nearly one in four kids in America doesn't know where his next meal is coming from. But right now, thanks to ConAgra Foods and Feeding America, it's easy to help a child faced with hunger. For every specially marked ConAgra Foods purchase you register online, our Child Hunger Ends Here program helps provide a meal for a child in need. Buy one, and you can help feed another. It's that simple. Find specially marked ConAgra products, enter your code at childhungerendshere.com, and help make a difference.